Welcome, let's understand net paper 1 solutions for 2022 paper. Now this pertains to the 12th October 2022 examination. In this class, we would be focusing exclusively on teaching aptitude and psychology. Now this time, there were numerous questions from the section on intelligence test. And therefore, in our complete video course on doorstep tutor, we have included intelligence test as one of the video lectures. So cover all the lectures carefully based on the new additions and the changes we have been updating the content regularly now Kaufman assessment battery is a very important psychological test which is meant for assessing intelligence as well as achievement and this is for the age group of 2.5 to 12.5 years now what is important there are 16 subtests so how many subtests 16 subtests of which 10 deal with the mental processing and 6 deal with achievement now of these six three can be administered to all age groups and therefore how many can be administered to one child would be 13 so 16 and 13 becomes the right option for this question the next question that we have here talks about intelligence test and its application to various age groups so the first one is Weschler's adult intelligence test. Now, as we say, it is adult intelligence, so it's applicable for the age group of 16 to 74 years. This is a suit of test which includes the adult intelligence as well as the primary and the preschoolers. So, primary and the preschoolers is for the age group of 3 to 7 and a half, and this WISC is for the age group of 6 to 16 years and then Kaufman as we already discussed in the previous question so if you get it right there you get it right here so it's 2.5 to 12.5 years and those are the correct match so two questions as we saw both of them from the intelligence section the students from psychological background psychology background definitely got an addition uh, uh, addition for it or benefit for it but also those from the non psychology background if you have gone through the lectures carefully you should be able to answer it now john devy's theory on communication issues is interesting this theory points out two types of education traditional and progressive education and in each of these education how communication is followed so first of all we understand the problem now once there is a problem we focus on the criteria with the criteria we talk about what solutions can be brought and then the analysis and finally the execution of it so that would be the correct sequence so we'll start with d so the only option where we start with d is the option d so d becomes the right answer here i hope you understand this concept very clearly Davies theory points out strict authoritarian approach specifically to traditional uh, education system and therefore uh, focusing on the learning experiences learning outcomes and the 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 basis of the theory is focusing on the experience of an individual the next is based on bloom's taxonomy of educational objectives the ability to understand the meaning of the material is ability to understand is what is comprehension now the framework works as First of all, you must have the knowledge, then you must have the ability to understand which is comprehension. Then we move towards application, analysis, synthesis and finally evaluation. Clear? So those are some of the major key things we understand under Bloom's taxonomy. So knowledge is the, the recall of the specific and the universal things. Comprehension is the ability to understand. Application is use of those uh, ability to understand on certain issues. Analysis is breakdown of the communication into a systematic fashion. Synthesis is putting certain items together and bringing them as a whole. And finally is evaluation, finding out how the judgments are and how accurate and precise they are. The next important question here talks about error that can creep into interview data can be due to. Now, let's say you are facing an interview. What kind of error can come? Sometimes you are not able, if, if you are an interviewee, I'm taking your interview, so I'm an interviewer. Sometimes I might not record the answers carefully or accurately as you had mentioned. 
Sometimes your responses could be influenced by uh, the other members or the other persons around. So failure to record the answer, getting influenced uh, is another important issue. Whether intelligent interviewees are intelligent or not, they are able to explain the question. They do not bring in error. So both of these cannot bring in an error. And failure to establish a proper environment for interview. That again can lead to an error because if the if the interviewee is not comfortable, uh, if the environment is not good, that can bring in error in the uh, in the final response. So A, B, and E becomes the right option. So those were few of the questions that were asked in your net paper one examination. Uh, if you have any questions or doubts, please follow the links below for more clarification or you can post those in the comment. We'll be more than happy to answer those. Have a wonderful day ahead.